Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. It's Samudin again. Today I'm going to solve a usually step one U word question of the gastroenterology block. A 65 year old man with a history of chronic gastroesophageal reflux comes to the clinic due to dysphagia. The patient has had difficulty swallowing foods such as steak and hard boiled eggs, but is unable to drink hot tea and coffee without any tissues. Issues. Sorry, uh, increasing the frequency of his proton pump inhibitor twice does, did not improve the symptoms. He has lost 6.8 kilograms over the past eight months. The patient has a history of uh, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and osteoarthritis. Medications include amlodipine, atorvastatin, and ibuprofen are as needed. He drinks two to three glasses of wine with dinner most nights, but does not use tobacco or illicit drugs. Vital signs are normal, BMI is increased. Uh, esophageal gastro duodenoscopy reveals that 4 cm mass, a large segment of discolored mucosa in the lower half of the esophagus. The picture is shown below. Which one of the following is the most predisposing factor in this condition? The correct answer here is the obesity because the patient with a chronic gastroesophageal reflux disease is now dysphagia to the solid food weight loss and mass in the lower esophagus, which raising the suspicion for the esophageal adenocarcinoma. Most cases of the esophageal adenocarcinoma are in the setting of Barrett esophagus, which uh, is a metabla metablastic condition where the normal certified squamous epithelium in the distal esophagus is replaced by intestine-like columnar cells in response to chronic acid damage reflux. The most important risk factor here are the chronic GERD uh, and obesity, smoking and consumption of food and nitrous compounds. Thank you for watching.